Woo! <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We're getting out on the beach this morning. It's all looking for some redfish or whatever we'll bite. But primary goal is to find some redfish. Big old bull reds. It's a beautiful morning. It's probably mid 60s. It's the 21st of October, so we're getting close to the end of October. We got a bunch of birds working right out in front of me as well, so that's interesting. You might have to throw a little. But we're gonna get out here, get down this long walk on the beach, and see if we can hook up. Before I get down to where we're gonna be throwing, talk about the setup I'm using today. I decided to put my Dio Assault S M Q 5000 with 20 pound Power Pro braid to an 80 pound liter on my 10 foot H2O Express. You can still get these rods. Except now they call them the H2OX Metal. M-E-T-T-L-E. -E. And same exact rod. I don't know if all the components are exactly the same. I've looked at them, they look pretty much the same. And I just want to get out here and make some throws, maybe catch a big redfish on this rod. The reason I'm using this rod, because you don't need some crazy $200 rod or even the $120 power stick I usually use. This is just a $50 rod. Yeah, the reel's pricey, but you don't have to put this reel on it either. This is just one of my favorite reels, and I'm gonna use it. But any 5,000 size reel, maybe even a 4,000 size reel, it's pushing it, but I would say a 5,000 reel on this rod will catch you bull reds, jacks all of it you don't have to be out here with super expensive gear so if you're gonna come and hang out down here with us and throw some lures or cut bait the 10 foot h2ox will do its job hooked up already oh no Got him that time. Oh, they love the gold spoon. Oh, hooked up as soon as you show up. <laughs> Badass. And my hook out though. What's up, bro? What's happening? Not too much, man. A whole lot of nothing this morning. I don't know about <laughs> what? <laughs> this was first cast. Yeah, heck yeah. My god. It was wild. It was like thousands of the birds out here a little while ago. Oh, they're all down there too. Before you even when you start the walk, as soon as you get to the corner where all those big brick blocks are, uh -huh. they're all bombing there too. Yeah. Keep up with this fish.
always try to do your best to keep up with your fish. Get him in. Ooh. This is freaking awesome. Thanks, brother. No problem. Appreciate you. That's a good fish. Yeah. Damn. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, it's beautiful. There we go. Beautiful fish. It's not even gonna fit on camera. We're gonna get him back. There it goes. That's how you get started. Woo! I want the fat. That last one I just caught was a solid take. And then the then I think he came off. And I think another one picked it up right after. Oh for real? Yeah. Might have to switch baits up. See if I can make something else happen with a big jig or something. There's a fish. We're on again. They're actually kind of far out. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, love it. He hasn't even fought yet. Oh. <laughs> Yep. Dang it. But check these hooks. <laughs> hooks are all right. <sighs> I'm going to tighten up a little bit. Make sure we get a good hook set. Because that sucks. Come on. Let's get another one. Can't believe that guy popped, but he had some pretty gnarly head shakes. And I made a mistake and he uh he got me. That's just the truth of that story. Come on. 
Right now I'm just using a two ounce gold spoon. First red popped on it, second red popped on it. They hooked up pretty far out too. A lot of the reports and a lot of people I've talked to coming down, it's a lot of up close action that neither of those fish that I just hooked up on were up close at all. Let it sink a little and we'll get a drift out of it if we can. If it doesn't want to drift, I'm gonna have to go lighter. Two ounces is great, get you out there, but if it doesn't drift, it may not get hit. The current is calming down a lot, so that's not good. Here, fishy, fishy. Come on, come on, oh, that's bait, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, that's all bait and shit flipping out in it. That's fish on right there. Sick. <laughs> I think this is probably Jack though. The way he exploded on it? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> yeah, baby. Could be shark, too. This might be shark or jack. I don't think it's a red. I thought it was a jack. That's what I thought. I'm coming over you. I'm gonna get up over you guys. Oh, no. I'm coming back. Reel, reel your slack. Yeah. Thanks, boss. That's a good fish. Good Lord, try and be careful. I snuck down quite a bit. Don't want to lose it.
He is. He's big. He's not acting like a jack. He's acting sharky. Not very. He took off like a son of a bitch. I don't know. I don't know if it's a shark or not. It took off pretty good. You've got to have a jack on it. That's what I was thinking. Is it fighting like a shark though? Now he's just kind of hanging. He's not really head shaking like a jack. You would think by now he'd have been trying to shake pretty hard. Right. I haven't seen a jack all morning. I this guy, this guy just thinks that he's boss. He might be a shark. We'll see though. Yeah. Hopefully, this spoon probably doesn't have the most awesome hooks on the planet. <laughs> I'm throwing a freaking Johnny Jade, so. Dude, I'm throwing a suit that tsunami two ounce gold spoon. <laughs> it is. That I, Walmart. Yeah. Sketchy. Ooh, look at that. Heck yeah. Come on, baby. Whatever this is, is dead tired. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm watching Jack. This could be a Jack. I, mean, well, jack. I don't think it's a redfish. If it is, it's huge. Uh, maybe. This hit like a Jack. Mine's a jack. jack. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's a big mother. Oh yeah. <laughs> Come on, baby. Watch out, guys. He's coming in. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Come on. Uh, you want me to grab it? Sure. Heck Hi. yeah, dude. Heck yeah. Sick. I saw it. Thanks, brother. man. Look at this thing. <sighs> Ooh, that's a beast right there. Holy God. Hooked up on a jack. <sighs> Look at this thing. Holy house. There he goes. <sighs> oh. What a fight. Well, it doesn't get much better than that. There's just fish everywhere. I'm leaving them biting. It's crazy. So I'm going to wrap up this video here because I got to get back to the car, get ready to go to work. But 
everything today came on the gold spoon for me but we had people catching them on nlbns cut bait poppers but the tsunami shockwave two ounce gold spoon was the ticket for me today inexpensive just try to make sure you don't fully trust those hooks to not bend out you know set your your drag tight get your hook set and then adjust from there because i just don't trust the hooks there it's a cheaper lure but it's quality it does its job that 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 particular spoon has caught a bunch of fish and it hasn't failed yet so with that you know go out and get that tsunami spoon pick up a 50 dollar rod and a 40 50 dollar reel put on some 20 or 30 pound test and a 60 to 80 pound leader and get out here and start chucking it but that's gonna be it for me thanks for watching the video subscribe to the channel throw a thumbs up throw in any comments you choose and we'll see you next time